The Creation of Adam, a famous fresco in the Sistine Chapel drawn by Michelangelo. It illustrates the events in the book of Genesis in which God gives life to Adam, the first man. And for centuries after that, one of the biggest topics debated on this painting is the never-touching limp finger of Adam and the robust finger of God. Articles, scholarly or otherwise, speculating the intentions of Michelangelo have been written again and again. Wait a damn minute, is this still an Elden Ring video? Very much so, my dear viewers, <clears throat> if you haven't already closed the video, that is. And how is it related, you might ask? Well, that's because we're talking about bubbles today. Okay, I know that doesn't explain anything, but you will soon see the connection. Or maybe not. You see, bubbles in Elden Ring are divided into intelligence-based spells that somehow need an arcane requirement, and the faith versions which come as weapon arts. The first thing that came into my mind was the absolute limp and weak oracle bubble spell versus the bubble shower that completely wrecks bosses in PvE, just like the limp finger of Adam and the robust finger of God. That's the reason you introduced a painting, Kreit? Fine, I digress. The main point of today's video is about a bubble build. This is a build I suggest nobody to play at meta PvP levels, unless you're fine with playing a wacky build. Most certainly ineffective against good players, but hey, maybe From Software will give us better bubble stuff in the DLC. To look at bubbles, we must first check out other bubble spells and weapons. Envoy's Horn's bubble isn't actually that bad considering its FP cost. I opted not to use this, but for 4 weight, it works just fine as a swapped option. The Great Oracular bubble is quite similar to Envoy's Great Horn's bubble. The only problem is, the Envoy's Great Horn is fairly short as a colossal weapon, that is also fairly slow. Not to mention, you have to deal with 19.5 weight. This isn't a laughing matter, especially when the AR of the Envoy's Great Horn is not its strong suit. So I have decided to pair the Envoy's Long Horn with the Great Oracular bubble. Not only does the Great Oracular bubble have better tracking abilities, we are able to use a staff on our offhand to cast this so we don't need to swap our weapons around. Plus, the Envoy's Longhorn is longer, faster, and lighter than the Envoy's Great Horn. But yes, I still wouldn't recommend this build for anything below 150. Your stats are really too split even when fully optimized for this build. One more thing is, I will be using Staff of the Guilty for this build. Why? Since we need at least 50 faith investment for the Longhorn to be serviceable, this is the stat distribution we're starting from. Let's say we have 20 spare points. If we invest into intelligence, the Jelmir's Glintstone Staff has 283 spell power. On the other hand, if we chuck 20 more points into Faith, the Staff of Guilty has 288 spell power. This also works if you have less than 20 points to chuck. Therefore, Staff of the Guilty gives us more spell power, while also increasing the damage of the Longhorn. Hero class will give us the most optimized character. This is the full build. I'm running the Crimson Seed Talisman because I played this in 2v2 and 3v3 where there are potions. As for the sorceries, I'm actually also running Rolling Magma. Rolling Magma's main utility for us is to control an area so we can use our slower moves like our Great Oracular Bubble. It also has a fairly decent radius and lasts for a decently long time if you also consider the magma puddles at the end. Really nice spell that can help your teammates out too in multiplayer arenas. One note is, you want to free aim this most of the time because if you land the spell, it will just do damage to the enemy and disappear. Another thing is, you can use other spells like Swift Windstone Shard to support you, but I went with the full bubble theme. I let Rolling Magma pass because it does look like a bubble on the floor. Enjoy watching me struggle. Send the bubble over and help this teammate. Oh, okay. Power stance Naginata's with Bloodhound step. Always one of those. It's fine, we'll try to surprise him. Oh, he de definitely didn't think that bubble was from me. Well, let's see if this hits. Okay. Honestly, bubble shower is better used when no one is watching you. Yeah, he definitely outranges us, and 
our hyper armor wouldn't help us here. This should catch him. Nice, and uh, we can heal up. Sometimes being slow helps you set up your combo because you can run over and attack as well. So either thing can hit. Yeah, let's let's deal with this guy one on one so our teammates don't have to deal with him. We'll play slight bit more defensive when we can, so um, he, so that he doesn't get too many free kills. Nice, he was far away enough, so I wanted to see if he would trade into the bubble. Once again, he's far enough, so there's a possibility of hitting. If he had Bloodhound step it to the side, okay, yeah. 3v3 or multiplayer, be aware of your surroundings, for sure. But yeah, if he had Bloodhound step to the side, I would not have hit him. But as you can see, if you can land multiple bubbles, you do do you can do quite a bit of damage. Let's send over a bubble and then rolling magma. Uh, if our teammate is smart, he would use the rolling magma to his advantage. Nice, that explosion actually caught two guys. To explain this situation a bit, one of their first one of their guys was AFK a bit for the first minute or two, so I'm just gonna take it chill now. One of the enemy team has joined us. Let's see how long until someone scares him off or joins us. Oh, I think the guy with the turtle shield on his back is coming towards us. Oh, I don't blame that guy. But it looks like my teammate is just trying to join us. Yep, a psychological experiment in Elden Ring. Well, of course it just takes one single projectile and everything goes to hell. But I'm still gonna sit here because this is how you dodge everything. Even if that maiden casts the fire around me, I will not move. Yep, the look of disbelief on her face. Perfect. And now we will continue sitting here. Good fight, guys. Ah, uh, an error. Set up the bubble. The bubble still floats there even after it reaches the end of its trajectory. So you can use it to area control. You see? A thousand damage worth of combo because they had decided to attack into the bubble. Alright, have this track the enemy. Yep. Oh too bad. We can't hit him when he's we can't hit him when he's down. Oh, okay, he's just gonna ignore me. Uh bubble shower is way too slow. Definitely easily reactable. Good news is um, the Longhorn is still serviceable as a melee weapon. It has decent enough range. Okay, we're not gonna chase after that. Let's just send a bubble over. Definitely be aware of the surroundings. I see the fire coming. Let's swap targets. Oh, okay, he dodged over the bubble, and uh, let's see if we can hit him on the ground. Nope, he didn't come close. That's fine. We'll plant the explosion. Ah, oh, too bad, if he, only he was a bit towards the left. Nice. Good teamwork. Okay. Yep, be aware of your surroundings. Okay, this, this one is just a caster. Casting the pyro incantations over and over. We have to be aware of the sorcerer too. Okay, that's fine. Oh. 
You know what, let's just try to trade this. Probably, probably a dumb idea. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, definitely a bad idea. My monkey brain is just taking over. I'm just enjoying watching the dumb trade. Nope, we're not going down with sorceries. We're definitely at least trading through. Okay, fine. Yeah. Not a great idea, but I didn't have HP pots or FP pots, so I kind of want to reset too. Okay, the area control. What is he doing? <laughs> okay. Interesting rolls. Well, that was, that's definitely too greedy. I definitely have time to roll out of that. Let's get this guy off our teammate. And replenish our FP flask before it refreshes. Send this over. And AOE control for our teammate. Oh, you do not want to do that. Oh, damn. The explosion is just a bit slow. In 3v3, you honestly, you can find some situations where, you know, you can just send over a bubble spell. It's really... It's really funny when you do that. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Definitely punished for not looking backwards soon enough. I should have definitely not charged that up once I knew it was coming, but... <laughs> Right, great stagger. Oh, too bad that didn't. Oh, I didn't expect that one to hit. Well, GG. Like and subscribe, and if you want to support the channel, please buy my fantasy novel in the description down below. See you next time.